Hi, thanks for coming. What I'm going to do today is pour on this tile. Um, I have gotten a Lazy Susan, so I'm going to be able to spin it. Um, I don't have it taped down or anything. I'm thinking it's going to be heavy enough to uh, stay on there anyway. And I don't plan on spinning it so violently. So here we go. What I'm going to do is put down this metallic pearl base. It's deco art. I mixed it with water and flow trough. And I also was working on cleaning out some of my supplies. So I have some of this um, purple. It was Palmer Paints. I got it at Michael's. I'm going to put some of that in there. Then I've got some of this um, orangey yellow. Um, this was, I think, some sort of like Apple Barn acrylic craft paint. Anyway, it was almost empty too, so I mixed it with water and flow trough. And I'm going to drizzle that in there. And then I have some more Palmer paint from Michael and this is Michael's and this was a this is a fuchsia color. Again, I mixed it with water and Floetrol. I'm going to drizzle that in there. To prepare this tile, I did wipe it off with uh, some rubbing alcohol, but that was all I did. I have done a few others of these and I sealed them with some Krylon gloss varnish. So that's what I plan to do again. I'm going to go back through these other couple colors and just drizzle a little bit more on here. Really what I want to do is just have a colorful tile. Anyway, so I used that Krylon, that Krylon spray, and my mom has been using one as a trivet for a couple months now, and she said the heat has not affected it at all. So I think it's pretty safe. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swipe it with my tool. I'm going to use... Amsterdam um, Oxide Black. I'm not putting any um, silicone on here, so we'll see what happens. And actually, I don't want to put my paint on over that. No, let's put it on right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and swipe it through here. Ah, not quite what I had in mind. And I didn't quite get a good swipe. So I'm going to go ahead and now swipe through that. Maybe like that. I do see some cells popping up in here, which is what I wanted with the color that I laid down. Almost tempted to swipe through that black there again. Ah, uh, why not? What can it hurt at this point? All right, so I do want to get some more cell production. I did not want to use silicone, but I was hoping that I might be able to get some cells anyway. So I think I'm gonna get my torch out and give it just a little bit of a torch. Sometimes this can help cell production. All 
And then before I spin it, I want to find, well, I thought I had a skewer over here, um, but I don't. So I think I'm just going to kind of make a couple lines through here. And then give it a spin. I'm not sure if I have quite enough paint there though. So I think I'm going to add some more around the sides. And yes, I am about to get paint all over my brand new spinner. I did get some shower caps to put on it but it wouldn't spin and I'm not patient enough to try to figure that out. So we're gonna go ahead and go for it. I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit. All right, let's see what happens. All right, well, after much spinning, I do have coverage, but you saw I put more white paint on it. I did want it to completely cover it, so I'm just gonna spin it a couple more times, but I don't think I'm gonna be that mad about this negative space in here. So, I'm going to ease, hopefully, get my fingers under it. I don't even think I really want to tilt it. I think I'm just going to let it be just like this. I'm not too worried about the sides, but I will go and just kind of wipe over the sides. But I have some paint markers that I'll use to... I make the sides really pop when the rest of this is dry um, before I seal it with that spray varnish. Um, so we'll let it sit for a couple minutes and then I'll bring you back for a close up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and uh, again, we'll be back. All right, guys, here we are. It's been sitting for just a couple minutes. Let's go in for a close up. I am loving the way this one looks right now. I hope it dries just the same. I've got all these beautiful cells and there is no silicone in this, silicone in this whatsoever. Not even upset about the negative space. There you are. Thanks for watching and have a good day.